Welcome to the Third Wave Business Systems EFT Bank Account Setup Overview. My name is Dennis Tucker. I'm a technical manager at Third Wave, and I'll be providing you with a demonstration of how to begin the process of configuring your system for EFT processing. Before we begin the bank account setup process, it's important to note that in order for the EFT application to function properly, a requirement in the SAP currency setup must be met. The value assigned for the international code for each currency set up in the system must match a code in the ISO 4217 guideline for currency code standards. Validation of the currency setup should be done before utilizing the EFT processing application. Bank accounts are set up using the EFT Bank Setup Wizard, which can be accessed through the Administration menu, Setup menu, Banking menu, TWBS EFT Bank Setup Wizard option. Once the wizard screen loads, click the Next button to begin the wizard process. In Step 1, the user can select the country of the bank account, the banking institution, and the house bank account number of the account to be used for EFT processing. Click the Next button to proceed to the next step. In Step 2, the user can choose the EFT file format to be used. They have the option to select one of the four pre-installed EFT file formats, create a new file format from scratch using the Define New option, or to create a new file format using one of the pre-installed file formats as a template by selecting the format and clicking the Copy Format button. The methods of creating new EFT file formats will be covered in detail in a separate session. If a pre-note is required by your bank to ensure correct EFT formatting and business partner information, select the pre-note required checkbox and enter the grace period in days. The grace period to enter should be found in the specifications from your bank. If your bank requires a balancing record in the EFT file, select the balancing record required checkbox and select the account type and number for the balancing record. Click the Next button to proceed to the next step. In Step 3, the user will be required to provide account-specific information for the company and the bank. The available fields on this window will vary depending on the EFT file format chosen in Step 2. The available fields should match the fields in the specification from your bank. For the NACHA file format that I've selected in this demonstration, those fields include the immediate destination code, which is the transit routing number for the bank, the immediate origin code for the company, which is usually the company's IRS federal tax ID, the immediate destination name, which is the name of the bank, the immediate origin name, which is the name of the company up to 23 characters, the company name, which is the company name up to 16 characters, and a company discretionary data field for optional internal use up to 20 characters. Click the Next button to proceed to the next step. In Step 4, the user will be able to designate output file paths for the creation of the pre-note and transaction files. Please note that the file paths designated must be reachable on your network by client workstations that will be using the EFT application, and that even if pre-notes are not required, a pre-note file path must be designated. Paper remittance reports can be printed and sent to your EFT business partners to show which invoices were processed by electronic funds transfer. Select a printer and a bin to be used for these remittances. To choose a format to be used for these remittance reports, click the button to the right of the format field to browse to one of our TWBS Configurator Format Library files. To edit an existing remittance format or to create a new format, click the arrow to the left of the format field to open the configurator. The process of editing or creating a new EFT remittance format will be covered in detail in a separate session. If you're going to be delivering your remittance reports via email, 
complete the from name, from email, email subject, email body, and SMTP server fields. Click the finish button to complete the EFT bank setup process. The EFT bank setup wizard process can be repeated for each account that will be used in EFT processing. For more information on Third Wave's electronic funds transferring application or any of the other applications that Third Wave offers, please visit our website at www.twbs.com. You can click the Contact Us link in the upper right corner of the page. Existing Third Wave partners and customers can obtain more information through the support portal by clicking the Customer Support link in the upper right corner of the page. Thank you for your time and attention.